Hi everyone, my name is Will from Going Awesome Places and I'm back in Niagara, this time to explore something I like to call the Lakeshore Road. Starting in Niagara the Lake, we'll be following Lakeshore Road which parallels Lake Ontario and eventually leads you right into Port Dalhousie. So sit back, relax, and let me show you all the secrets behind all the things you can see, do, and eat all in one day. Let's go, Niagara's calling. Let's start the day at Queen's Royal Park in Niagara-on-the-Lake, right off the main strip, and get that early morning exercise and adrenaline to carry us the rest of the day. Today we're paddle boarding and kayaking with Paddle Niagara. Ready to rock. Once we geared up, we launched out into the Niagara River. On the river, you have incredible views of Old Fort Niagara on the US side. And if you follow the coastline, you eventually reach an open part of Lake Ontario. And on your left is remnants of Fort Mississauga. Whether you paddleboard or kayak, this is a soothing and relaxing way to spend your morning. What a great day to be out on the water. Doesn't get any better than this. Next, we're at the brand spanking new Cider House on the grounds of Sunnybrook Farm. Ironwood Cider House is a bold new expansion with a modern look to bring in their mix of artisanal ciders, vintage lime made of specialty apple varieties, and approachable ciders. Their aim is to be the best cidery in Canada, if not the world. And one of the things that really stands out is their focus on work by local artists to reflect the diversity of the Niagara community. We're here to try a flight of their best ciders. All right, so we got our flight of ciders here to try. The first one is the original dry cider. Mm, classic, really nice dry finish, really good. This is the Ciderita. Now this is what we call a crowd pleaser. Super bubbly and taste that lime. I could drink this all day long. Cheers! And done. <laughs> Next up is one of Niagara's newest distilleries straight from the Roaring Twenties. This is Spirit in Niagara and what makes these guys super special is that they distill ripe and fallen fruit straight from its farm. They've converted their 150 year old fruit packing barn into a tasting room and lounge full of character and charm. If you didn't know, 10% of the ripest, juiciest, and sweetest fruit goes to waste each year in Niagara because of how picky we are as consumers. It's a lot of peaches. Small batch spirits made by Spirit in Niagara are made from their own Niagara peaches on the farm. Nectarines, yellow plums, blue plums, pears, apricots, and cherries, the seven major fruits grown in the region of Niagara. Everything they make is hand bottled and hand labeled. The result is high quality vodka, peach spirits, and gin that we'll be trying today. So we just finished our tasting and we brought everything outside to the outdoor patio space of the confessional lounge. But seriously, this is the bee's knees. Next, we're crossing into St. Catharines and at Port Dalhousie to show you a different side of Niagara region, one that slows down and is packed with chill vibes. Located on the south shore of Lake Ontario, this is an important historical site as the terminus for the first three iterations of the Welland Canal. Today, the waterfront is a popular neighborhood attraction with its marina, St. Catharines' most popular beach, Lakeside Park Beach, its adjacent park, and wait, an antique carousel? We're bringing back our childhood memories and taking a spin in this wooden carousel carved in the late 1800s that features 68 characters and four chariots in four rows. This is literally only one of nine of these type of carousels left in Canada. Horsey, I choose you! Wow, I feel like I've been transported to Coney Island. Next, we're grabbing dinner at Patio Andalus, which is only a few minutes walk from the lakefront. You wouldn't expect it, but owners Antonio and Alejandra share their Spanish and Mexican heritage with the community in a restaurant that features both cuisines. The interior and patio is decorated in both the Andalus style and Mexican style, a nod to both traditions. Something you have to order when you're here is their paella de mariscos, which is topped with seafood delights. Wow. This paella takes 45 minutes to make and is packed with mussels, shrimp, calamari, langoustine, and bell peppers. 
Cheers. Mm. Marvelous. Those crispy bits, the best. This is good paella. So good. Well, that wraps up our day here in Niagara, where we went paddling, had the most delicious ciders, sinfully good spirits, relived our childhood memories, and had the most out-of-this-world paella. <sighs> to cap things off, we're back at Lakeside Park Beach to watch the sunset. Now this is my Niagara. I'll see you next time. Thank you.